Now we perform the experiment of SMPS. Okay, so as as per I stated uh, already stated that uh, here the main supply is available here. We are giving the main supply here. Then the AC to DC converter. That means here is a rectifier. Then filter, filter. Uh, after that filter circuit, then the switching circuit is present and the. Yes, in switching circuit the feedback from the output is given from the comparator and comparator produce the error voltage okay and the across the uh, switching circuit here we are using the transformer it is the ferrite code transformer against the this uh, ac signal is rectified and then the load is connected from here so, to perform the experiment, we have to connect the voltmeter and am ammeter first. Here is the connection is, uh, here is the port available to connect the voltmeter. Actually, we connect the voltmeter across the circuit in parallel. And here also a ammeter av uh, is available. So, we connect the ammeter in series. Now the circuit is complete. Now we uh, we make the line regulation and then the load regulation. To regulate the load, we are using the two uh, bulb here. One is 60 watt and another is 160 watt. We see here that the in case of line regulation and in case of load regulation, the output voltage is fixed. For that reason, we are using the switch mode power supply. Now I am um, switch on the circuit. Here it is shown that the output voltage is near about 125 volt. Okay. Now I am changing the input voltage. Input voltage is range from 50 volt up to 250 volt. So we, uh, I am changing the input, input voltage. 50 volt, 75 volt but the output voltage is fixed. Then 100 volt also the output voltage is fixed. 125 volt then 150, 200, 225 and 250 but the output voltage is fixed. So, we regulate the line voltage. Now, we regulate the load. We are giving the 100 watt uh, load here. So, it, it is seen that the output voltage is also in near about 125 volt. Now we are giving the 60 watt. So now the load is 160 watt. If we reduce the load one by one, it is seen that the output voltage is fixed. Now by giving the load, I am con uh, I re regulate the line. Uh, now giving the load, I am now vary the line input voltage. Please see here, the output voltage is fixed. Now I am uh, regulate the load voltage. It is seen that the output voltage is also fixed here. So I fixed the line input voltage 150 volt, then I am giving the 60 watt bulb load voltage is 125 volt then I, I am adding the uh, load of 100 watt so 160 watt is given at the load terminal and the input voltage is 150 volt but the output voltage is fixed at 125 I am changing the input voltage input AC voltage but the output voltage is fixed for that reason for that reason we are using the smps in very sophisticated instrument like computer and the uh, dc any kind of dc instrument where we need the higher efficiency and fixed output voltage here the dc output is uh, available and uh, by using here we getting the dc output by the switching principle. 
okay and in case of experiment we have to uh, take the table uh, in this way that uh, input input voltage uh, actually we are changing the input voltage and the same for the same input voltage the uh, voltage and current in case of 60 watt and 100 watt and 160 watt we have to take from the voltmeter and ammeter so we can change here the input voltage and by take uh, by changing the input voltage we uh, if we see the output voltage in uh, case of in any kinds of load we can see that the output voltage is fixed at 125 volt always fixed 